Hi, in this video, I'm going to explain a very practical example of using higher order functions in lambdas. And this is to use the built-in sorted function to sort lists of things with arbitrary key. So we've been talking about concepts like higher order functions and lambdas. And now I think these concepts have very cool names. Um, and the sh code that I show you, they are, um, you know, simple, short, they're a little cryptic, a little, little, little different from what we're used to seeing. But um, ultimately, the question is, are these concepts useful? Are they really good for anything? And the answer is yes. These uh, concepts are actually very, very useful, very powerful, and they are in fact used a lot throughout the Python language and also in many other modern programming languages. Um, so. In this video, I'm going to explain one example, and it has to do with the built-in function sorted. Now, um, here is a simple person class. It just has two attributes, first name and the last name, and uh, we define the done the LT method. Now, when we talk about uh, operator overloading, we know that if we define the done the LT method, then we can compare. Uh, two instances of uh, the person class. And in this case, the Dunder LT, it just compares the first name attribute. Um, and then one instance of person is less, quote unquote, less than the other instance. If the first name is less uh, than the other's uh, first name in the kind of the alphabetical order. Okay, so, and we can instantiate a list of persons uh, and then we can sort this uh, list of persons and because the, then the LT method is sorted by, it, it, it compares the first name, so this sorted would sort by the first name, right? So if we run this piece of code here, um, we'll see the result. And so it should be sorted by first name. So E, F, H, P, and R. So yeah, indeed it is, uh, this list is sorted by first name. Now, what if we want to sort by last name? Well, it's not that difficult, we would say, because instead of comparing the first name, then we can just compare the last name, right? So we can common this method out in Instead of sorting by first name, now we sort by last name. And if we run it, and there we go, we sort it hopefully by last name. Last name D, H, H, S, and S. And uh, between, between the two hunts, I think Helen comes before Ethan because in the original list, Helen comes before Ethan, so it preserves that order when the two, uh, the, when the um, the key to be sorted are the same. So that's nice. Now, what if instead of only sorting by first name or only sorting by last name, we want to be able to sort by either one, kind of at the same time? What then? How then can we write the Dunder LT method? So uh, if you want to think about it a little bit, you're welcome to pause the video and uh, yeah, think about it a little bit first. Now, one way to do it, which used to be popular, was to do the following. So first, it, it would have a class variable for the person class. We'll call it sort key. Okay. And the value for the sort key is one of the enums. So we define an enum called sort key. It could be, you know, we could be sorting by first name, we could be sorting by last name. By default, well, let's say we sort by first name. And then in the, uh, then the LT method, then if the class variable sort key, if it is sort by first name, then we compare the first name, and otherwise we just compare the last name. Now, in order to actually um, sort by first name or last name, before we call the sorted 
built-in function, we set the uh, person dot sort key to the value that we want. So if we want to sort by first name, we set it to uh, set it to first name, and we sort we run it. And then if we want to sort by last name, we do that. Set the sort key to to the last name, and then we run the sort. So this would work. So the first one is sorted by first name. So E F H P and R. The second one is sorting by um, last name D H H S and Stormtrooper. So um, this works, but there are multiple problems with this approach. So first, um, using a um, class variable to kind of control the working of some methods. It's kind of like you know using a global to pass information around. Except, well, this case is in this case it's not exactly global, but it's a global to um, the a, a class. Okay, so um, globals are never good ideas. And secondly, um, in order to sort by the right attribute we have to remember to properly set the person dot sort key before calling uh, sorted and you know in this case it, it might be simple because these two lines you know setting the sort key and sorted it they're right next to each other but there are going to be cases where um, that may or may not be practical and you know or we might forget to do it you know so that's kind of prone to errors and then the third problem may be that, okay, well, we can do this for a very simple class that has just two attributes. What if there is, you know, uh, well, even for a person class, it, uh, in the real world, it could have many, many different attributes, and we want to uh, be able to, you know, sort by um, w those attributes. And if we have like 10 attributes or 20 attributes, then we can sort, we, we want to sort by then this enum is going to become very big and this Dante LT uh, uh, method is going to have a long if l if l if um, block of code which you know it's it's kind of it's going to be a look uh, very ugly and make it very hard to maintain and make it very hard to add additional um, sort criteria so um, and and that's not to mention some other problems such as concurrencies, etc. Anyway, um, the older versions of Python's uh, uh, sorted actually does do it this way, but the newer versions of uh, sorted it doesn't do that anymore. And um, and that is because now the sorted function is a higher order function. So. I'm going to explain how it works, but let's do something similar for a function that we'll write ourselves first. So first, I would like you to review your knowledge of lambda functions that given the same person class with the two attributes and this piece of code that I instantiate a person, John Doe, and uh, I'm going to print, I want to print out the first name attribute of this person but I like to write a lambda function that um, would, would do that for me. So uh, pause the video and uh, give this a try, please. And the lambda function would look something like this, that it takes a single parameter. In this case, it should be an instance of the person class. And, and all it does is it just returns the first name attribute. Right? So in this case, it will return John and that should get printed out. So with this knowledge, let's move on to our second problem. And we want to do something like this, that we want to write a print attrib function that given a list of instances of the person class and also uh, somehow an attribute is specified so that when we go through each of the person in the given list, we want to just print out that person's um, that 
uh, its attribute as specified by this parameter. Um, so the usage of this print attribute function would be something like this. So we have a list of persons instances here. So that's people. And we want to be able to specify, say, hey, I want to just print out the first name of all the uh, person instances in this list. And I want to be able to uh, print out the last name attribute of the list of uh, each person in, on this list. Now, uh, this is conceptually what we want to do. Um, but this code is not going to run. Uh, just because uh, we here when we say first name, Python is going to look for a variable uh, name, first name, or a variable name, last name, right? We cannot say this is an attribute and uh, expect that uh, Python assign first name to attribute and then first name to p dot first name. We cannot expect Python to do that. That's invalid syntax, but Given what we did earlier here, can you find a way to make this work with the correct um, Python uh, syntax? And I'll give you a hint if you need one, and that is to treat this as a function that will be applied to the person instance to retrieve the first name or last name or an arbitrary attribute. So pause the video and uh, give this a try. Okay, so here is uh, one way to do it. So I renamed the second at, uh, parameter to be get attribute, and this is going to be a function that I will apply to each of the person instance in the list. And what this function would do is I want to it, it will return an attribute. So in order to print out the first name attribute, this function is going to be just the lambda function that we wrote for our last problem. And that is given a, hopefully, a person instance that it simply returns the first name attribute of that um, person instance. So if I run this, now the first name that gets printed out is. Ray, Paul, Finn, Helen, and Ethan. So that's that's that list. So now, um, hopefully, you can see that if we want to print out the last name, then we can just write the same lambda function, but this one would just return the last name attribute. And if we run that, we get um, these last names, and we can have both of them coexist. Why not? Right. Um, the first five are the last the first names and the next five are the last names. And this is what the slide is trying to say that print attribute is a higher order function. And um, actually when you think about this function a little more carefully, you see that it doesn't really matter if the given list is a list of instances of the person class or any other uh, type, as long as the get attribute uh, function returns a an attribute that exists in the element of the list, this function would work. So this function really kind of works for printing arbitrary attributes of arbitrary types in a list. And now we can go back to talk about this doing function sorted because sorted uses the same idea that we talk about here that it is a higher order function and it takes a key parameter so um, and this key parameter is a function that the sorted function will apply to each item in the list before sorting the list and what this function should return is a key that this sorted uh, built-in function will use for sorting. Now, in our first example uh, here, 
that we say that the key function returns the first name attribute and sorted then will use each uh, person instances first name attribute for sorting and let me run this just to show you that it works that you know they sorted by first name e f h p n r right and and as you kind of see here that i don't even have to um define the dunder lt method anymore because the first name is just a string and python knows how to compare string natively so that's really cool now how do we sort by last name well you i hope you will see that we can just pass a different lambda function to the key parameter that returns the last name attribute so we'll do that and this second uh, list is sorted by last name d h h s a n s now this is in fact so flexible that it allows you to sort by multiple attributes so for example here um, we have two hunts and if they have the same last name then it is quite common to sort by first name so in order to do that um, we can do something like this that in the lambda function we are going to return a tuple um, the first element in the tuple is the first thing we want to sort by and in this case it's the last name and if the last names are the same then a sorted will use the second um, element in the tuple to sort again and it, and if the second element is the same then if there's a third element in the tuple it will continue to do that until well it runs out of things in the tuple right so um, to show you how that works or that it actually does work we'll see um, we sort by last name and then after we sort it by last name hunts are the same then it will sort by first name so Ethan comes before Helen so compare this approach of making sorted a high order function that takes a key function that returns attributes to be sorted by to the approach that we had earlier that we define an additional enum to decide what to sort by we have an additional class attribute to again determine what to sort by and we modify the lt done the lt to um, compare different attributes depending on the sort key and finally uh, set the sort key to the right value before we can sort it by I hope that you agree that this approach is a lot cleaner it's more maintainable and it's more explicit it's more obvious what it does so I hope you're convinced of the benefits of high order function and lambdas